Hi everyone, welcome to Online Sunday School with Montebello Plymouth Congregational Church. This is Miss Lori, bringing you a special edition of our online sessions during Holy Week and leading into Easter Sunday. Here are some announcements. Our Good Friday worship service will be live streamed on Friday at 7 p.m. through our Facebook page. Check your email this Saturday for a link to our virtual Easter egg hunt. We will have prizes for our top winners. Join us on Easter Sunday at 10 a.m. for our live stream worship service, again through our Facebook page. And the Easter egg hunt will conclude on Sunday as you gather more eggs during the live streamed worship. This is Holy Week, and during Holy Week, we observe Maundy Thursday in, in remembrance of the Last Supper when Jesus shared his last meal with his disciples. And Good Friday, a time to remember the crucifixion and death of Jesus. On Easter Sunday, that's when we celebrate Jesus' victory over death as he is risen from the tomb. Let's open up with a prayer. Please bow your heads. Since we will be celebrating Maundy Thursday and the Last Supper, here's a prayer you can say at mealtime. Dear God, thank you for, your, for the food you provide for our bodies, our minds, and our spirits. When Jesus shared the meal with his disciples, he asked us to remember him. So as we eat our meal, we remember you and all you have done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Here's an activity you can do for Monday Thursday. Before we begin the activity, let's read the Bible verses about the events. During the meal, Jesus took and blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. Taking the cup and thanking God, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, God's new covenant poured out for many people for the forgiveness of sins. But shortly before this happened, Jesus spoke of someone betraying him. During the meal, he said, I have something hard but important to say to you. One of you is going to hand me over to the conspirators. They were stunned and then began to ask one after another, It isn't me, is it, Master? Jesus answered, The one who hands me over is someone I eat with daily, one who passes me food at the table. Now this all sounds kind of scary, but Jesus knew that he would be turned over to the people in charge back then, and they were going to end his life. So this is a fun Maundy Thursday family activity. It's called the Last Supper Game. To play this game, you will need a deck of playing cards, but use only the face cards. Make sure you include the jack of clubs. Sit around a table like the disciples did for the Last Supper, or in a circle on the floor. Give each person a card. They can look at the pictures on the cards, but have them keep their pictures or their cards a secret. If you have the Jack of Clubs, then you're the betrayer, and you'll try to get other players out of the game by winking at them. If you have any other face card, then you're one of the disciples, and you'll try to figure out who the betrayer is by looking for a player who is winking at others. If someone winks at you, 
silently count to ten before you lay down your card. Remember not to reveal to the others who the betrayer is, and play until the betrayer is found or all of the non-betrayers are winked out of the game. You can pause the screen at any time if you want to play. What is Good Friday? Jesus was put on trial because there weren't there were many that didn't believe in him and thought he was a threat. Even the religious leaders of the time didn't believe he was the Messiah or the Son of God. You can find the events that took place on what we now call Good Friday in all four Gospels of the Bible. For example, it's in Matthew chapters 26 and 27. In the Bible, it says that Jesus is betrayed and arrested and then denied by Peter. He was beaten, crucified, and then nailed to a cross, and then he died. Jesus predicted that this was going to happen, but he believed in God and forgave the people who did this to him. His friends took his body and buried him in a tomb. Even though we call it Good Friday, we remember with sadness the events that led to Jesus' death. But remember, Jesus never lost faith in God, and he also forgave those who were mean to him. Here's a Good Friday family activity, or you can even do this on your own. Using any type of paper, cut out a heart shape, decorate it any way you wish, and type, tape it to your bedroom door or bathroom mirror as a reminder that Jesus died for us because he loves us. What do we celebrate on Easter Sunday? The good news, of course. When Jesus died, his followers shed many tears. They wrapped him in white burial cloth and put his body in a tomb. Jesus' followers didn't know it, but he would come back to life three days later. The women who were followers of Jesus went to his tomb with the spices and ointment they prepared to anoint Jesus' body. But when they arrived, he wasn't there. Jesus had risen. Easter Sunday is a day when all Christians around the world celebrate the miracle of Jesus escaping death and going to be with his Father in heaven. So when we say he is alive, we mean that Jesus is alive in all of us who believe. Here's a fun activity that you can do with your family on Easter Sunday. Have your family line up on one side of the room. Give everyone something stiff like a file folder or a piece of cardboard. Set a plastic egg on the floor in front of each person. If you don't have a plastic egg, Wad up a piece of paper and tape it together. When the youngest person says go, use your folder to fan the egg across the room and then back to where you started. You can't touch the egg unless it rolls into a wall or gets stuck. Let's talk about how that game went. Those eggs didn't always do what you wanted them to do or what you hoped they'd do. In the game, how did that make you feel? In real life, how do you feel when things don't go the way you'd hoped? When Jesus died, 
His friends may have felt frustrated, disappointed, or afraid. Things seemed out of control for them. But even though Jesus' death and resurrection seemed out of control to his friends, the ending was better than they could have imagined. Jesus is alive. We don't have to feel hopeless because we have the hope of living together with Jesus. Jesus came back to life so we can live forever. You can also discuss with your family, why do people need a savior? And what does it mean for Jesus to be your savior? And please join us. Worship with us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Live streaming of our service will be found through our Facebook page. Just search for Montebello Plymouth Congregational Church or type in MPCCUCC. And you can send your prayer requests to Pastor Mitchell at MPCCUCC at yahoo.com by the Friday uh, prior to the Sunday service. Let's close together in prayer. Please bow your heads. Dear God, Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to save us. Even though we are unable to see our church friends and family, we know that you are with them too. Please keep us safe this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me today. Have a wonderful and safe week. May God bless you and your family. And remember to look for a virtual Easter egg hunt in your email and also during Sunday worship. And remember there are many ways to stay connected with us through our website, through our Facebook page, on YouTube, uh, all of our Sunday School lessons for past weeks are posted on YouTube. You can contact us through email, or you can even give us a call, 303-566-1111.